Hi there. My name is Leah Bada, and I'm the director of WIMS here at Encore Music Academy and Recording Studios. Welcome to our series of mini master classes presented to you by our, our esteemed faculty here at Encore. Today, I'm going to tackle breathing. Breathing for a wind instrument is the most important. If you have no air, you have no sound. And I would say that the instrument that takes the most air out of the whole orchestra is the flute. Now people may argue with me about this, but I really do think after playing multiple wind instruments that it does take the most air. There's no reed, there's no mouthpiece, there's nothing you buzz into. It's a hole that you blow air across and into, and that's how you get the sound. I will say the tuba, just because of its sheer size, might take maybe as much air as the flute. So I'm gonna teach you what I call the home breath today. That's the word home, H-O-M-E. And the first step to taking any good breath is saying the word home in. So we're gonna lower the jaw and then breathe in the word home. Let it out. Let's try that one more time, home in. That's the first step. By forming the word home, you open your throat up enough so that you can get as much air as possible. Now this next step to the home breath is what I like to call pretend there's a balloon in your tummy. And what that means is when you take air in, when you say that word home, that your diaphragm fills up with air first. I see lots of people taking breaths and their shoulders are going up. But really we wanna fill up from the bottom all the way up and to the back into our intercostal muscles. So, pretend you have a balloon in your tummy and as you put air into it, it gets bigger. And as you let the air out, it gets smaller. So I'm gonna try that, okay? I'm gonna say home and then I'm gonna fill up. And it might be hard to see my tummy filling up, so I'm gonna use my hands to show you how my tummy's filling up. Okay, here we go, home. And the third step to the home breath is what I like to call sizzling. Most people would call it support. Once you take that air in, you get that nice big breath, you need to do something with it and you need to support. So what I like to do is sizzle the air out and that way you can feel the support in your diaphragm, okay? So I'm gonna try taking a full home breath, okay? So here's the home. Do that one more time. Now normally we breathe like this. We're sitting on the couch, we're watching our favorite TV show, we're breathing like this. Biologically, your body wants to breathe like this because it gets the most air into your lungs. We need air to breathe and to survive. It's just that when we're thinking about it, we can't do it. So the best breath you ever take is also a quiet breath. Now I hear this and I'm also guilty of it, but we take one of these. <sighs> Everyone's taken one of those breaths. breaths. I'm guilty of it. I probably still do it a few times a day. But I'm gonna show you two activities, two breathing exercises that will help us to stretch our lungs and to also practice the home breath. So the first one is, we're gonna take that big home breath. And when we feel like we can't take another breath or any more air, we're going to take another breath. This may be a little bit of, uh, uncomfortable, you're gonna feel it in your chest, but it will stretch your lungs out. So here's my big home breath. And then let it out. Let's do it one more time. really stretch our lungs out this way. Now we want to stretch our lungs in this way. So we're going to take a big breath, we're going to hold it for five seconds, and we're going to let it out as fast as we possibly can. So here's my home breath. Until you have no more air left, let's try that one more time. Now 
that's really squeezing our lungs. So we're, first one we're stretching in this way, second one we're going this way. There's a ton of different lung exercises you can do. Um, but I think now it's time that we actually put it into action. So, we'll just do a little bit of a long tone exercise on flute. You're gonna see me take that home breath. Now I'm gonna take a slow home breath. But in reality, when we're playing a piece of music, we don't have that much time to take a good home breath. So it would be advised to practice taking that breath faster. this off camera go start trying the home breath it will really improve your sound your phrasing just your overall playing so thank you very much I'll talk to you later